Throughout my life, I felt different from others, but could never quite put my finger on what my deal was. There seemed to be no vocabulary for my experience. I went into hiding. Then one afternoon in my early 20s, I was sitting on the back porch of the house where my grandfather and I lived. I looked out over the fields out behind the house, the pasture land, and surrounded by the fences and the beautiful brook that ran through the middle of it. And I began to have what I can only describe as a, of, as a vision. And in this vision, I saw those things that I saw with my eyes, but in the center, of, of this beautiful scene was an enormous black hole. And the black hole sucked in everything that got near it. And if I, and I felt that if I got near it, I would be sucked in too. I had so much shame. What was wrong with me? Why was I so broken? Why was I such damaged goods? Denial is a fantastically powerful coping mechanism, but it's a terrible way to live. Many years passed since that time. I began to write and found I could explore this thing that was me. I decided I would be fearless and that, that I would write into the black hole, even if I died trying. It was very, very frightening, but I did it anyway. It opened up many things for me. I found I could embrace life no matter what it took, no matter how it looked, no matter what others thought of me. I would embrace all of it, even the pain, even the shame. And one day, after all those years of internal struggle, it was as if I had taken the jigsaw puzzle that was my life and I shook up the box and I took the lid off it and I threw it in the air and it landed on the table before me, fully assembled. I knew what I needed to do. I would have integrity and I would have wholeness. I would have an authentic life just as my sister has had an authentic life, just as my parents have had and my friends, and it would be life as a woman. As time went on, it wasn't so much that I came out, more as if I had come in. I had come into wholeness. I began to move in the world in a new way, in a way in which my outsides matched my insides. And there was so much to do. I wanted to do everything, but I couldn't do everything, so I did just the next thing. Now I have peace. And despite my difficulties, and there have been many, my peace abides. And I will not stop short of owning that wholeness. I was a songbird in autumn. I could feel the cold, hardening wind. I could smell it in the birches, and I knew it was time to move on or die. And now, after all this, once more it's spring.